Okay, I'm going to make a quick video before I start to uh, clean the rust off the uh, steel cabinet exterior of my Fisher Papa Bear wood stove. I don't know if you can read the plate or not. I can't hardly see it from here. I think it was made in the 80s. I've got the uh, paint to uh, refinish it with. And I'm going to be using my Ryobi 18 volt angle grinder with that wire wheel on it. That does a fantastic job. All right, I'm going to set this up on a tripod. I'll be back in a minute. Real busy here as usual. Just got my new toolbox, uh, toolbox, workbench made the other day. And tomorrow, that wall over there has been completed. And tomorrow, the bathroom enclosure goes in and the Three quarter inch plywood goes up above the deck for my 300 gallon water tank. All right, that's another video. That'll be this weekend. All right, I'll be back in a minute showing what I'm doing with the, uh, the pop-up bear. I'll be back. Okay, I'm gonna demonstrate the wheel going. It works pretty damn good. This was really heavily corroded. Okay, basically that's uh, what I'm going to do, and I have a uh, <clears throat> metal wash I'm going to put on that, and then I'll show you the uh, 2,000 degree ceramic paint I'm going to use. I used it on my my hooker headers on the El Camino, and uh, it was it lasted for years. And those things glow; they get so hot. All right, I'll be back in a little while. This should take about an hour to prep. I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. Uh, it's been a little over an hour, maybe like an hour and ten minutes. I've got it all uh, wire brushed down, went through uh, four of the big Ryobi 18 volt batteries, which isn't bad considering they're two years old, going on three. What I'm going to use is this Krylon high heat with ceramic, silicon, silica and ceramic coating. This is made for automotive headers. I've used this on my El Camino. It works great. This is good to 2000 degrees. I'm going to give it two light coats, let it set up, and then give it one medium coat as it suggests on the can. Later in the week, when I get a chance, I'll move the uh, stove where I can build a small fire in it and just let this stuff burn off before I install it, which hopefully will be next week. Okay, I'll be back in a minute. Okay, I'm ready to paint it. Pop my mask on and we'll get a coat on the top.
Okay, I'm gonna go around and do the rest, but I'm not gonna film it. You get the general idea. I'll be back when I'm done. Okay, here's the uh, finished product. It's still got a teeny bit more drying to do. This took about uh, two and a half hours start to finish. With the wire wheel, it's almost completely dry. It'll go dead flat black when it's totally dry. Big push to get this done today was because it got up to almost 62 degrees, and that's not going to happen again for quite a while. And hopefully next week, once I get the, uh, the platform built and the water tanks over there removed and up where they belong, that's where the stove is going, right where those water tanks are. So anyway, that was today's one of today's many projects out here at the Tennessee Off-Grid Build. So that's it for today. I'm over and out. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned. There'll be the installation of this coming up soon. All right, that's it. Bye.